What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 2 of my West Brom FIFA 17 career mode series. Thank you for the amazing support on the first episode and if you do enjoy today's episode make sure you smash that thumbs up button. But here we have got the scout of future star back. Uh, this lad from France, a centre back Jerome Richards. He looks very very good. Uh, his height is alright for a centre back. He's still only 15 so we can't sign him up just yet but I will look to train him even before signing him up to the first team as yeah he seems to have uh, pretty good potential sometimes he can get bad scout of future stars that's like the worst feeling uh, we're going to send out uh, one of our younger goalkeepers I'm not sure if he'll become good enough Karanovic only 50 overall just try and get his rating up and maybe we can just try and sell him uh, for how much we can at some point but also uh, we have got the monthly scouting update back from England England, Oliver Brown we're going to reject then we've got Oliver Jackson we're also going to reject Taylor Cox is the best prospect out of uh, this scout report uh, Dylan Allen yeah, better than others but yeah not really good enough we need at least a minimum of 70 minimum of 73 here with Taylor Cox maximum 94 uh, we're still going to work out his position he could play center mid on the wing or striker so we just got to yeah wait to see what kind of player he becomes and also the board already they say great job job with our youth program just in our first monthly scouting report i'm not sure of getting a scouter future star help with that but we're going to finalize the deal of mille Sfiller, who we negotiated in the first episode uh, for a young goalkeeper for the future and oh definitely a big one mbappe there's a lot of discussion in the first episode uh, quite a few people actually saying to sign him but then those few saying that it's an unrealistic signing obviously there's points for both things but yeah he's a fantastic player and uh, he would only help us like he's he's a great prospect and uh, if you're honest as we counter here for Boaz my hill hopefully we can sell him on just getting a bit older now and like you see bringing in the youth also yeah Claudio Jakob I want to negotiate like these older types that are not going to be part of the success in the future and that's the kind of signing Mbappe we're going to see if we're going to like it's not happened yet we haven't signed him for sure yet we're just uh kind of declaring interest maybe trying to yeah put some offers in there and everything like that but that's the thing with career mode there's probably less than five percent of players that would be signed next season in real life uh, that people will see as a realistic signing so most signings wouldn't be exactly realistic uh, but just players I want to improve my team with because really that's the point of career mode especially with a team like West Brom you know, lower Premier League team uh, you want to get your squad improving <laughs> pretty much so you can uh, battle with the better teams in the league to try and get Champions League and then try and get title as well, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully you guys uh, will understand that. It's my pl my way of playing the game anyway, so hopefully uh, you will like how I develop my squad here at West Brom. And more so, um, it's the... It's not the names. It's the. It's more what the players are in the game. You know what I mean in terms of their rating and their potential. If they've got a good rating, good potential, I'll obviously be interested in them. And if they're similar rate, because Mbappe would be one of our better players in the team, but not like outstanding. Like I'm not going to just go sign Ronaldo or Messi. You know what I mean? Like someone who's just, even just 85 plus overall. That would be out of our reach. Maybe price range as well. Uh, even though we could afford them, that would seem a bit weird. Like we just have this really good player. But Mbappe would uh, suit with our squad's rating at the minute as well. And he will grow with the team. That's what, um, yeah, like I said, that's what I like to do. Get those players in. But anyway, uh, just showing you all the settings I play with. Because sometimes people ask me. So I'll show you at the start of a career mode pretty much before the first game. Don't play with any sliders at all whatsoever. So if I get any good goals, yeah, just so you know, there's, <laughs> there's no changes in the sliders. And also my camera uh, settings as sometimes I get asked for that as well. But lads, it is time to get into the first game now against Crystal Palace to kick off the Premier League season. Anticipation here. Uh, obviously, uh, the teams, uh, they're shaking hands here. Uh, being friendly before the match gets underway, then 
I would want my players to not be, yeah, that friendly once we get into the game. It's a competitive game. We are fighting for the three points here. There's both managers. I won't show this intro, like, for every single match. So I thought the start of the season would be very good. But also wanted to show you Crystal Palace's starting 11. It is a strong team. There are some good players in there. We have to watch out for Christian Benteke. Uh, he's going to be very scary. And also if Remy comes off the bench, but he'd probably come on uh, for... Benteke, so we only have to deal with one of them at a time, but who knows, they may change up their formation as well, there you can see our players on the bench as well, um, Sam Field is a guy we're going to try and use, uh, he's not amazing rating, but he's a young player, good prospect for the future, uh, we've got a few of those in the squad, but here, 15 minutes in, could we score an early goal, here we go, Chadley, easy as you like, NASA Chadley, he makes it 1-0, he is a very good player. Good signing uh, for West Brom, most definitely. I think he's a good player uh, coming across from Spurs, of course. But, yeah, just tidy finish. In that position, that goal was created from the passing. And then the space... And there you come, Chadley there all by himself, not much pressure. Uh, but as I mentioned, the passing created that chance. But now, that man I mentioned, the danger for Crystal Palace, Benteke, played the Townsend, gets it back to Benteke! And Foster makes a very important save there. He had to do that. Uh, lucky he did, and Rondon, a danger for us. He's shown it already. Uh, a couple of chances in the first half. Uh, looking dangerous, Morrison and Rondon again. Uh, I wasn't actually controlling him there. The game kind of just uh, took it upon uh, themselves to kind of jump up and header with him as I was controlling another player. So yeah, <laughs> what can I say? If I if I scored from that, I can't really say I because the CPU was controlling him at that point. But we are going to freshen things up and Leko as well. I've used him before. He's got a lot of pace and Rondon dangerous, but uh, not really getting the strikes on target. But it does look like now we're going to hold on uh, to this result. 1-0 or are we? Because this is not very convincing. Come on, we've got to be a bit more clear at the back but we are able uh, to escape eventually there and uh, we take the 1-0 result uh, pretty uh, good result as you can see it was a pretty even game though it was a nice start to the season uh, for us uh, we showed we were competitive against Crystal Palace and we showed we were the better team able to get that goal Henricks though very underrated you don't really see too much highlights like in these videos in Karimo like a fullbacks or something um, obviously you want to see highlights of near chances and goals of course uh, but yeah, he did very well in terms of his tackling and getting forward when he needs to down the flank. So uh, Callum Jones, we will also send out on loan there to get a bit more experience. And hopefully he does progress with his time out on loan. But now Claudio Jakob, he has moved on. So as I mentioned, these are the kind of guys I will look to sell if there's interest. I didn't have him transfer listed. So obviously I could no negotiate uh, for a decent amount for him, but we would look for another central midfielder. Uh, that will come soon. But yeah, Mbappe has potential to be special. I think that's a bit of an understatement. But if we're able to yeah get his signature, uh, that will yeah be a massive thing for us. So we're going to put in a 17 million bid just have to wait and see if that will be accepted or not Sam Field I did actually have him on the loan list and his contract is running out so as I mentioned with him I think he can be a key part of the future uh, utilizing that's what I utilize as well I want to bring through uh, these youth guys so with transfers of course there might be some people that disagree with them but in terms of my career modes I feel as though I bring more to the table uh, so you can be interested in it Maybe some signings may seem unrealistic, uh, but I try and yeah bring through the young players in the first team. I will try and do that uh, with with West Brom. So hopefully you'll be able to see that as well. Uh, but no doubt he will be an amazing. So he will be a good player. So I just think because he will make it easier for me because he'll be amazing. I think that's why yeah, people the people that don't want me to sign him don't want me to because obviously there's discussions about how FIFA uh, 17 on legendary it could be harder it feels a bit easy to some people so yeah I think that's partially because of that because he'll be a really amazing player for us but anyway we're gonna go ahead and try and sign Zakaria I showed you a few of those central midfielders and some were would be more expensive like Tielemans absolutely fantastic uh, but 
just change it up a bit. I think he'll be more of a unique signing. I'm not sure if too many people sign him or not. That's another thing. Uh, people may say everyone signs a certain player, but I don't really watch many other career modes uh, at the same time. I just yeah play yeah FIFA 17 career mode myself. But getting into uh, this game, we do win an early penalty. Really well done on that occasion by Phillips, who's a good player. He's just like a solid player in the team. Like As we progress, again the best wingers for us will probably be better than uh, Phillips in right midfield like that mid 70s that's what we got to look to progress getting players that will be pushing towards 80 overall uh, so we can get the team like that but Chadley he's our best penalty taker as well so he's going to take that and he is going to finish and we do take the lead once more. 1 0 here. It's still very early in the game against Everton, but this is an impressive start. Just straight down the middle there. Keeper could not save that. So, Chadley, uh, two goals, two games. Easy as you like for NASA Chadley. But here's Lennon. Aaron Lennon, he's getting past. He whips in a cross. Johnny Evans got his head to it, I think. And then uh, Foster had to make the save. That was very, very close. It was a close call. was the best chance for Everton in the game. And there wasn't really too much else. So the last five minutes or so here, uh, we did look for a chance to kind of finish it off. But unfortunately, it was blocked really, really well. Uh, they were defending strongly. Then I tried to get it off to Neom there. Uh, but again, you can see two on one. Very, very strong Everton. That's probably the thing. They were still playing fairly defensive at that point in the game. So they had a corner, I think, that chance was from. But they didn't really look too dangerous. And Leko, he is fantastic coming on as just that super sub, just utilizing that pace just an impact sub if he doesn't do so well maybe we can't call him a super sub but definitely an impact sub with his pace uh, we can definitely say that for sure and yeah that shot came off the crossbar so a bit unlucky and even in this game we just had the one shot on target so we took the chance we had well from a penalty but it was really well won Diop had a fantastic game as well just both defenders we've signed they've proven um, as good players so far it's only a couple games, but yeah, each one of them uh, has got a yeah play of the match performance so far with Henricks and then Diop. So that is nice to see uh, with players you bring in, of course, especially defensively, because I pride myself on uh, good defense, uh, keeping clean sheets. So we've shown that so far. So that's our youth squad currently what it's looking like. Just two players there. That's going to come along a bit more. But look at that. Monaco did accept the transfer offer. I was pretty surprised. I thought I may have to go over 20 million for Mbappe. So 18 and a half million to the player compared to the player he's going to become. That is going to be a great deal for us. So for those of you guys that wanted me to sign him, there you go. And for those of you that said it was a bit unrealistic, uh, hopefully, yeah, you guys can still enjoy the series. Like sometimes I'll get a comment saying after I sign a play, the series is ruined. But I think if you, if it was one player that makes a difference to that, like makes you think it's ruined. I don't think you would have enjoyed it uh, that much in the first place if it gets ruined from one signing. But anyway, that is going to be a fantastic signing regardless. He's going to play amazingly for us and we're still going to work uh, for uh, Zachariah to try and sign him up. But yeah, I'm pumped uh, to use Mbappe. He's going to be so fun to use and more so develop. That's what I love doing in career mode, developing youth talent. So with his great potential, uh, he should be able to become a fantastic player for us. But that is is going to be it for now if you could smash the thumbs up button it would be greatly appreciated and i'll see you guys in the very next video